when you made your transition into like when, well, when you did your, your meditation after your crash, that's all you did like for like 12 hours a day. Yeah. And then when you, and now that you're into music, like that's all you're doing. When you started learning Ableton, you like locked yourself in your closet for like 10 hours a day, every single day. And it was like, that was it. And it's like, but um, dude, it a hundred percent. I think is because of that. I grew up snowboarding and like being coached every day. And it's like to be at a certain level where you're, where, you know, you can be and attain and you're not there. It's like starting from the beginning. And to me, it sucks because I know deep down what it takes at the end of the day to be anything. It literally just, it's like, how bad do you want it? And how much time are you going to put into it? And I sort of knew that. And I kind of sucked. I'm like, shit, like, I know what it takes. I'm not going to, you know, it's like, it just takes passion is the biggest thing. You know, that's the thing. It should be enjoyable. And it's obviously also going to suck. But it's like, when you know what you want to do, do it to your fucking fullest, you know, like do it every single second until you are ready to share that with the world. And music is so vulnerable. It's so vulnerable. And I hate it. sharing music to me is like one of the most vulnerable things in the world because it's just a piece of me. Like it really is. Like I try to speak deep in what I say. And when it's not ready, like that's why I went, like sometimes I'll, I'll show Taylor recordings and they're not done. And like I've told myself a million times I'm not doing this anymore. And I'll, I'll be like, all right, I'm showing these people, you know? And it's like, you know where it can be and when it's not and it just is very yeah that's it's something i'm working on honestly <laughs> yeah 